Hello, Ben Woodruff here with the Hutchings Museum. Today I want to talk about the difference between grazers versus browsers in the animal kingdom, with specifically with dinosaurs. Now, growing up, you hear that there's meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. That's what you hear in all the kids' books. But what kind of plants? How are those plants harvested? How are they eaten? The answers to these questions radically shape the actual body of an animal. These two examples right here, these are two cousins, two closely related species that are radically different. This is Diplodocus. Diplodocus is one of the longest dinosaur species of all time, yet it has a very gentle, dainty, uh, small head and these tiny little pig-like teeth. And it was bigger and longer than this dinosaur with this enormous head. It's kind of strange when you hear it that way. This is Camarasaurus. Camarasaurus didn't have those delicate little teeth. It has big, robust, thick, dense teeth and much more powerful jaws. Diplodocus was a grazer. Camarasaurus was a browser. What's the difference? Today, we think of grazing as terms of eating grass, eating uh, gentle grass on the ground and just tearing it up and just eating it something like that a cow or a buffalo would do. Browsing is when you go into the forest and you're eating branches and leaves and seeds and fruit off of trees. That is, takes much more work for teeth to break apart, say pine needles or a pine bough, the branch of a pine tree, to break it off, break it up, chew it up, tear it up. That takes a lot more work, both in terms you have to have tougher teeth but you also have to have much more powerful musculature in your jaws to just keep on crunching. So Diplodocus is a grazer. He wasn't eating grass, he was eating ferns, just constantly eating up these fern forests and just eating them down, soft tissue. Well, this Camarasaurus was eating pine needles and pine boughs and tough woody plant material like cycads that he was built to do both in terms of his teeth and in terms of his powerful jaw muscles. So even though these are two cousins, the size and shape of their heads are radically different. And again, this one was much bigger of a species than this one. And yet because of a different way of life, their head size and shape are much different.